वेलकम टू डिजी लिटरेट यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल आई टॉक अबाउट सैस प्रोडक्ट रिव्यूज ऑनलाइन मनी मेकिंग इंटरनेट मार्केटिंग एंड ओवरऑल टेक्नोलॉजी सो इफ यू आर इंटरेस्ट इन एनी ऑफ दिस टॉपिक दैन मेक श्योर यू सब्सक्राइब टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल नाव सब्सक्रिप्शन डेफिनेटली हेल्प मी टू बिकम मोटिवेटेड टू प्रोड्यूस मोर यूजफुल वीडियोज इफ यू आर नॉट अ मेम्बर ऑफ माई यूट्यूब चैनल दैन गो टू द डैशबोर्ड ऑफ माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड क्लिक दैन ज्वाइन बटन uh it's a great support for the channel and also you get exclusive perks uh, uh, that are made only for the members who join it uh, so in this video we will be talking about eight another mail merch so this product help you send mass emails uh, basically inside your gmail with the help of google sheets so this chrome extension or extension browser extension uh, works very well with google sheets as well as gmail so if you want to send mass email without using any third party uh, software uh, at just in a few seconds uh, then eight another mail merge is for you so this is going to be a complete tutorial of how the software works now let's go to my laptop screen and see how it works hello guys so now we are on the website of eight another mail merge so a y a m m dot com is the website uh, domain Uh, to simplify this video, I have divided into different parts. So in the first part, I will be showing you uh, the website interface and pricing plan. So this is how the website interface looks like. It easy to uh, easy to navigate. Nothing is complex over here. Uh, in the pricing plan, uh, I will be talking about uh, different plans. So in the free plan, you get uh, you can send up to fifty emails per day. Uh, Uh, you do not get scheduling and click tracking. So what is click tracking? So if you include any link inside your email, and if you want to know if someone has clicked on that link or not, uh, then you can do that. But in the free plan, you don't get. You get that in other plans, paid plans. Scheduling means if you want to send an email at some different uh, time of the day or some other day, then you can do that uh, in other paid plans. But in the free plan, you cannot do that. Uh, But that's it. Uh, so th these are the some important uh, feature, uh, important features that you get in the paid plans. Uh, otherwise, all all remains the same, right? So now the another thing is the how to install the uh, add another mail merge. So click here. Uh, you will be uh, you will land over here, and here you need to install this plugin, uh, Chrome extension. Uh, so once you install this. uh you need to track it right so where you can see this right so there are two places where you can see this one is your gmail and another is the google sheet where your leads are so this is the gmail account of mine in the right hand side you can see uh, the eight another mail merge logo so you just click on it and once you click on it it will uh, launch and it will show you a detailed steps like what you need to take to uh, send your first emails right so first is to compose your email so what is so i will come to this uh, later uh, now this is where you can track the eight another mail merge in your gmail and another where you can track is your google sheet uh, so this is this you need a leads right you need a bunch of emails that you want to send uh, so in the extension you will be able to track eight another mail merge so from here you will be sending mass emails right so these are the two places where you can track the eight another mail merge now i will show you how you compose an email so now let's go back to the uh, google's uh, gmail so you need to come here and compose that means you need to write an email so don't worry about the two section because that will be taken care of by the google sheet uh, you need to write your any subject line you need to type in your message so i will just uh, take any demo email that i already have uh, so i will just uh, copy paste this subject line over here uh, i will just not type this uh, mini because it's a company name that i have customized i'll just copy paste this email i'll just compose that means so i just copy pasted the email uh, so you can see everything is over here uh, you can also include the links that is what i was talking about click tracking so if anyone clicks on this link you can track it in the paid plans uh, so you can do that uh, you this is my email that has composed now you don't have to send it uh, you just need to uh, keep it as it is now you can personalize how you personalize let me show you like suppose you want like hi 
uh, you want the first name of the person so how you do that is just write the cur curly brackets uh, copy paste the person's first name and just paste over here make sure the name is same as you have in the google sheet right uh, if you want the company name to be personal just copy paste this um, for like free b2b leads for the person's company name or uh, that i'm typing uh, just copy paste the name uh, this has case sensitive so make sure the name is same as in your google sheet uh, so this is a personalized now you don't have to do anything uh, you just have to go back and the draft will be created so you can see a draft is created so your work from your work is here is over now you need to come back to the extension section in the extension section i will be talking about some features so click on the add another mail merge extension uh, click on start mail merge you can also import your contacts from google and salesforce other things um, but that is not important so i'll not show that i'll just click on start mail merge so once you click on it So once you click on this, you will see the following thing, right? So in the sender's name, you need to type in your own name because you are the you the person who is sending the email. In the email template, what it will do is it will fetch all your Gmail drafts. So these are all the drafts that are created. Uh, it will fetch all these drafts. So you have to select the draft that you created and you want to send the email. So we created this in a free B2B leads for draft, right? Uh, so this is the thing that you need. and you need to click on this track emails open respond and bounce because if someone opens your emails or someone responded to your email if you want to track that you can do that um use if you click on it if you don't want you can do that uh track email clip obviously it's a in the paid plan and I already explained you what the feature is right you can also send a test email to check like if the email that you are sending is perfect or if there are any mistake right you can do that schedule again it is a paid plan you can uh, choose the delivery date and time that you want your email to go uh, and yeah that's it so now here i will explain you a few more features uh, with a live demo right so when you click on here you will see like sheet filter or uh, unsubscribe link a y a m m polls and personalized attachment so personalized attachments are what so they are something like if you want to send a personalized file like if you are sending email to 10 people and you want uh, each of them to have a personalized attached file uh, so you can do that using this option uh, in this uh, demo i will not show that i will show you other features like sheet filter what are sheet filter let me show you uh, so suppose uh, these are the emails there do you have uh, and you want don't want to send email to specific people right if you don't want to send emails to uh chinese dot so what you will do is uh, there are many ways to do this but this is one of the option what you have to do is type in merge status and the email uh, the, uh, to the person you don't want to send email just type in zero in front of that row and now the uh, person will not get this email so let me show you a live demo once i click on extension um, and click on start mail merge Uh, now I will come to this option again. You will see this is enabled. So before it was disabled. Now once we created this merge status, now it is enabled. What is unsubscribe link? So let me show you. Uh, suppose you have this email um, and you want people to have a choice. Like they don't want to receive your email again in the future. So you should give a chance. Like there are some countries with strict law. So you should provide them an option. So you should provide them an option right to not receive your email again so what you do is you can type a message click here to unsubscribe so now what you do is uh, you need to uh, copy this right so you need to uh, copy this link or uh, this exact thing you need to copy and you need to come to your email and where you want the click here uh, so i will just click uh, select this and add a link insert a link and insert the same thing over here and now uh, any person can click on it and choose to unsubscribe so i will show you a live demo as well 
and some uh, another feature uh, so we did it right so i will show you how it go, it is now uh, unsubscribe link is disabled right so now again i will come to it and show you that it is now enabled uh, i will come to start mail merge i will come to here again uh, let me again refresh the thing okay let me just go back and select the template that we are doing it for i think i hope i choose the right template uh, so yeah we did it right uh, let me just come back over here and you can see now it is unsubscribed so that is enabled now what are yamm polls so basically if you want to uh, uh, say take uh, feedback from a person like if you want like do you like chocolate yes or no uh, so a person has a choice yes or no and you want to collect the answers yes or no so you can use yamm polls so how you do that uh, so to do that first you need to go to back to the draft email and you need to like i'm just giving you an example right uh So I just suppose I like I will type like not interested in receiving further email or uh, the user have a choice like you can say yes uh, I will just type in like no so what you do is um, you need to come to this uh, uh, you need to type the exact response so you need to copy this link of what and you need to go here click on this yes option and you have to click an insert link and you have to click yes you can change it uh, yes or whatever the option you have so this is the basic example yes no so i'll just copy and paste it so make sure you do that in the no section what you have to go come here back again and copy this no and just go back to your draft email and just copy this and say uh, suppose insert a link again no so let's make it bright uh, so yeah the user now can click yes or no and you will get an answer as a poll into your google sheet so you will have a separate column over here uh, so now let us let me show like this is now disabled so now let me go back and select it again the extension uh, let me go back and select the extension again make sure you select the right template uh, now let me go back to here and you can see this is enabled so this is how these are the most important features and that's completely everything right so once you do all this now you are ready to send emails now you don't need to do all this you don't want to use all this filter unsubscribe or that you can directly do that but i just explained you the features now you can type in the sender's name if you haven't and yeah just click on send eight emails so I'll just send eight emails. Uh, so I will read, um, I will just remove few, uh, no, yeah, let's, let's send eight emails. You can see the emails are, will now, will be getting, getting sent. All emails have been sent so you can see the status uh, have been uploaded over here the all emails are sent and you can also see on the right hand side the tracking report now you will observe here that one of the email is in here is included of mine uh, so that I can show you how the status change so if the email does not go and gets bounced uh, so it will have a bounce status as you can see it is getting uh, uh, so you see eight seven emails are delivered uh, now let me um, open this email and show you i will open this email from my mobile and as i open this email you will see the status getting changed so now i'm going to click on the to open the email as you see i open the email the status has changed now I will also click on the poll. So if there is a poll, yes, no, I will click on yes poll. So we had a poll, right? So let me show you on my screen only. Let me let me show you on my screen so you can have a better idea. 
uh, I will just open the email that I am tracking. Let me open the email that I received. So this is the email that I received uh, as a sample. Uh, so these are the polls and this is the click here to unsubscribe. So now this is the poll and I want to answer, right? So I'll just say yes. Are you not interested in receiving further email? I'll click on the poll and I'll be confirming my answer as yes. So as you can see, now I'll show you live how the poll changes. So I, I, have, I got the answer as yes, right? So I can also unsubscribe and other things. Let me show you. So let me show you now, like suppose I, I'm going to go to my another thing like um, I will come here to my email and I will uh, suppose the person chooses to unsubscribe, right? Uh, so I will just click on yes, unsubscribe me, unsubscribe. Now you'll see the status change to unsubscribe. So you get a live reporting and other stuff. So that's how you send your emails. Uh, now let me go back to the draft email and we can track everything. In the send section, you can track everything over here. So as you can see, these are the tags that YAMM gives to your email that you send from YAMM. Uh, so you can also track all these uh, details like, so this is customized, like the first name is customized as for the person name, uh, the company name is customized. Uh, yeah, so this uh, how it is now. There is also a dashboard of IAMM. Uh, let me show you. Uh, let me show you. So this there is also a, uh, this is the dashboard where you can see like I sent nine emails. Uh, you can track all your um, mail merge campaigns details. So you see uh, 14, that is one person has opened, one email has been bounced, one person has chosen to unsubscribe. So that completes and you can also track the poll results over here. In the poll result, you can see two people have said yes. So that, uh, so yeah, uh, that completes our YAMM uh, complete tutorial. So if you like the video, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can also become a member of, by clicking the join button in the dashboard section of this channel uh, to support this channel. Uh, so I'll see you in my next video. Uh, thanks for watching.